Hello and welcome everyone. In-game description is Atlantic class light cruiser that relies on dual purpose guns as her main battery. She's a real ship. She's a real ship. She served in the Pacific during the 1943-44 rearmament. The ship's AA capabilities were improved by equipping her with 40 millimeter Bofor guns. So this is the in-game description. And she, she does, I mean, she looks at face. If you look at her at face value, you would think this is an Atlanta. And there's very little in the difference. So Atlanta model, armor layout. Very lightly armoured, 16mm aft end plating, both lower and upper pl upper plate. The deck is 16mm, auxiliary room armour plating also 16mm, citadel armour belt of 89mm, four end plating, upper and lower is all 16mm, plating on the superstructure 13 and the turrets get full coverage of 32 millimeters side frontal plate top plate and rear plating all 32 millimeter if we have a quick little look six mil six millimeters of athwart ship armor it's very delicate and the same here at the stern six millimeters so very lightly armoured. In terms of survivability. 31,500 hit points. Now I must clarify. That is with. I am using. Survivability expert. Just quickly take that off. Oh god really. Screwing me for every cent. So base. 31,500. God, what? No, send to reserve. The base is 27,900. And with survivability, 31,500. So consumable wise, damage con, you get five charges of defensive fire. Main battery reload booster, Unlimited charges, four charges of hydroacoustic search. It's quite good hydro, 3.5 or torpedoes, five kilometers for ships. Short range torpedoes, depth charge airstrike. So main artillery, eight twin or dual mounted 127mm guns, 8.5 second reload, they can rotate 7.2 seconds, 180 degrees, max dispersion of 133 meters, and the max range is actually not too bad, considering 16 kilometers. That's actually not too bad. Firing high explosive and semi armor piercing. High explosive does a max damage of 1800. Fire chance of 6%. 21 millimeters of hit, of armor penetration. 792 meters per second. 792 meters per second shell speed. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to shoot. Semi armor piercing. 2700 max damage. You can pen 36 millimeters of armor and it's the exact same shell speed 792 meters per second that's the main battery you get short range torpedoes one x4 launcher on each side pretty short range only 4.5 kilometers firing range 16.6 K damage, 65 knots of speed, and 1.3 kilometer detection range. 
So, I mean, these are basically suicide, suicide rush torpedoes. Suicide rush. So, you get the airstrike, the subs are back, of course. Two available flights. Three bombs per attacking flight. 1600 max damage. You got a max firing range of 5 kilometers. Reload of 45 seconds. AA defense. Doesn't seem too bad. 15 single mounted 20 millimeter. Three twin mounted 40 millimeter. These are the ones mentioned in the ship description at the start. 1x4 40 millimeter. Both fours and the main battery doubles up as as AA. These are the the 20 millimeter Uralicon. Three twin mounted 40 millimeter bow fours. And then one quad mounted 40 millimeter bow fours here on the stern. And of course the main battery, they double up. So that equates to 235 continuous average damage. And the majority of this is actually long range. 168 long range, 91 medium range, and 116. It's actually having having the majority at long range is is good because you have a chance of, of actually killing something before it actually gets through. The firing range is 5.8 kilometers. Seven flak explosions. And I remember this is boosted by having the American defensive office, fire. It shines too bright, but I just can't help but look. So American defensive fire is boosted by 50% and 300% boost to the shell explosions. So moving quickly on to the maneuverability. Max speed 32.5 knots. Let's just quickly check. We can boost that to 34.1 with the Sierra Mike signal flag. Turning circle radius of 610 meters. Rudder shift time of 5.9 seconds. Finally, concealment rating of 74. 9.3 kilometer concealment, 5.8 by aircraft and by subs. So this is the San Diego. Another Atlantic class. Is it what the game needed, though? I mean, I'm not quite sure if another American light cruiser is necessary, but I mean, I guess there are a large number of American players that love their light cruisers. And this is going to cater towards that market. And it, it, it's a nice ship. I mean, it looks good. And it kind of reminds me of a... A tier 8 Austin. Now I'm not sure many of you have actually played the Austin. Because it is a steel ship. And it is one of these ships that. It has quite a challenging skill set. To play that ship well. I mean you really have to have your wits about you. Playing, playing, the, playing the Austin. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.